What's up guys and gals? Welcome to the next episode of Metricide, where we are playing as TJ Trench, an assassin in a cyberpunk dystopian future. So it's giving me all the tutorials again, even though I know all the information. So we only have a blaster right now, which is actually part of the disappointing fact of the matter is that it reset all of our guns when the game crashed in the previous episode, so it's, we've got to deal with that. Hopefully the assassinry won't be so nasty for us. I'm not familiar with this map, and so this might be a little bit interesting as I attempt to duck the blue-clad protectors of society and all that. Scan complete. You may continue. Wait, what does a scan do? Oh, hell. Alright, well, whoa, that trash fell in the perfect shape of eyeballs. Now it's graffiti. I know what's going on. What's this over here? Looking spiffy there. Who's your tailor? Well, I'll probably start with Malcolm Bracano. He's got two L's in his name, although they're not doubled up, so technically this is not a fair kill. I'm kind of killing somebody that doesn't deserve it right now. We'll make it work, though. We will make it work. I don't know how the scan works, so we'll have to figure that out as we go through this episode. It may work in weird ways. I don't know. Where's my guy? Where's my dude? Where's my murder target? Where is it at? I do know how the game works. Thank you. So you're not going to do anything crazy like flee town or anything, are you? I wonder if the scanner is just like a retinal thing. Like it tries to verify whether or not you have a warrant out for your arrest. That would be my best guess is if you have a warrant like the screen is red, you can't go through the scanners without the cops showing up. I'm just going to wait right here for an opportunity. For an opportunity to get with the knocking. There we go. Let me grab the corpse here. We'll throw that in the trash can. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so no wanted, no witnesses. Aw yeah. That puts us pretty close to getting our shotgun back, but Mac Merkel is unfortunately going to be the next target. Mac Merkel sounds like one of those... I don't know, he sounds like one of those dudes that does like nerdcore rapping. Like Mac Merkel. In fact, I'm going to keep that for later. That's going to be my nerdcore rapper name, Mac Merkel. I don't think I'll ever be a nerdcore rapper, but you know what? If it happens, watch out for Mac Merkel. Mac Merkel knows what's up. All right, so Mac Merkel is right here. And Mac Merkel, I would love for you to turn left right now. Just make it so easy for me to murder you. So easy right now. No, you're not going to make it easy? Well, fine then. I didn't want to work for it anyways. Uh, bam, bam. This game needs like a bumping soundtrack. Like all cyberpunk games need like some kind of just. All you have to do is look at every soundtrack for every Shadowrun game, where it's got like. I like that. I like the cyberpunk soundtracks a lot. Like a ton of a lot. Ugh, stop smoking. You're gonna die. In well, smoke away. You're gonna die anyways in a minute. So I guess the nicotine isn't gonna hurt you. Over 4,000 chemicals invading your body! Eh, everybody's gotta die sometime. Let's go over here, and wow, this city has a lot of people in it. I feel like they have made my job a lot more difficile. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I wish that you could, like, throw a wallet over here, and, like, bait them over, and they'd be like, Ooh, look at this one! Oh, God, you shot me! Actually... May have made her job a little bit easier for us. Got her. Oh, we got a witness, though. Got to dump the body quick. And then we'll get up out of Dodge. I don't know if the city's called Dodge, but that's what I'm calling it right now. What is that? Looks like somebody murdered a unicorn over here. Ah! Policia! No! The Capo Meter. I never noticed it was called the Capo Meter. All right. Well, we have a threat level. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. We've been identified. Oh, and there's scanners, like, everywhere. Oh, man. There's scanners, like, all over the place. I wonder if the scanners are purely to keep us from taking other contracts while we're still wanted. It seems like that might be the case. If I could just walk around them, though, it seems like it sort of diffuses the issue quite nicely. Okay, so we have enough money to go buy something more awesome. Trey Stringfellow, sir. Sir, that second L in your name? Sorry. But you gotta go. You gotta go. Let's find a gun vendor. I like how they put the gun vendor in just like the shadiest corner of the city ever. Like, we've noticed that you live in the slums. Here, let us compound the issue by selling you more guns. What? An RASC? What? A rifle? What does the rifle do? 
Does it have like a really long range? I mean, the shotgun's pretty dope because you can just run up like point blank and just, a brap, and just take somebody out, but the RASC rifle seems like it might be worth waiting for. Hmm, I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna save so that we can try out a new gun in this episode. If we accomplish nothing else, we get a new gun, get ourselves a new piece. It's not gonna scan me if I cut through here, right? Okay, good. That's all that I wanted to make sure of. Where's our target? Trey Stringfellow. Sir, this street is very, very well populated. I don't know if it's a good idea to maybe wait until the cops go away. Or at least until we're not Red Ring of Deathing. If she goes through or he goes through the scanner. Okay, we're no longer wanted. We're good right now. Yep, there he goes right there. He's flying off to the edge of the screen. He's done with his day. He's off to raid a donut shop somewhere or whatever. What he needs to go is he needs to go take himself some, like, I don't even know, like diazepam or something. That shaking is not normal. Look into my eyes as I kill you. This is the type of killer that I am. I like to look at my victim. Incognito bonus. Let's go get ourselves a new gun. I want to use the rifle. What does the rifle do? Is it awesome? I'm sure it'll tell me. A long-range weapon with no warm-up time, and it's quiet. Ooh! Hooray! So it's like a shotgun, except we can nail people from way deep with it. What is this over here? Is that like a potted plant? What is that? I think it's a potted plant. Hmm. Hmm, don't mind me, police scanner. I'm just a guy walking around with a high-powered weapon on the side of the street. Don't mind me! Like, oh, that's totally normal for this dystopian world. Feel free to walk around with your guns as much as you like. I'm actually going to buy a bunch of bullets. There we go. Maybe visit a Chick-fil-A or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so for carrying contraband, the police have been called to kill you. Awesome. Well, hopefully the police don't see me because I'm running my ass off right now. That'd be kind of crazy if you ran so hard that your ass actually did fall off. That would be a concerning medical predicament. What's going on over here? I'm going to whack this guy. Dong Lavin. I shit you not, I had a guy one time, it was so hard. Like, I try not to be an asshole, but when I was working at Blockbuster, I swear to God one time I had a guy come in, and his name was Dang Dong. When his name came up, you're not mentally prepared for this to happen when you're 17 years old working, and you're not mentally prepared for somebody's name to come up in the system. Like, I didn't know what his name was, I scanned his card, and then it popped up and it was like, Dang Dong. And, like, you're not mentally prepared for that name to come through. Like, I realize it's insensitive, but it was also kind of funny. Like, ah, that dang dong. Always getting into trouble. I, I, I felt like an asshole, but... The police just went right by me. Okay, so I guess the scanners scan us for contraband as well. Which actually does make our job quite a bit more difficult. Who are we after right now? Dong Lavin? But anyways, I figured I'd tell the story because we're about to kill a guy named Dong, so... I mean, frankly, if, if your wang is so impressive that your parents name you after it, go for it. I mean, Dong. I am Dong. Direct me to the nearest porno studio that I might have a career in Dong slanging. Okay, got him. I should probably dispose of this body somewhere. There is a witness, but that gives us plenty of time to, like, get away from the murder scene, so not going to worry about it for right now. Let's go back and get ourselves another contract. Which I think could be lined up fairly easily over here. The big stipulation now is going to be whether or not... I'll probably go after... Let's do Elvin Lee's. He's got two vowels, and while I feel like vowels are more gentle than double consonants, the double vowel is still a crime. It is still a thing for which you may be murked in the middle of the streets. Dum-dum. Dum-dum. Following a dude, dun dun, gonna shoot him with a gun. Please don't turn to the left or the right. I know my directions. No. Ha! Ah! Wait, what? Hold. What? 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 Hmm. I've never seen a paranoid person whip out a gun. So we learned something today. We learned something today, everybody. We learned something. It's always a dark day at the Nerd Castle when I have to learn something. 
Well, we don't have contraband anymore, so that's one problem fixed. I mean, the rifle is pretty awesome, though. I think I might stick with it. So what we learned from this situation is maybe don't run up on paranoid people in the middle of a crowd unless you have, you know, a shot. I mean, the police probably came and shot that guy. The AI doesn't seem to be very good at running from the police, so all things to think about. Let's go for Wilbur and Henkel because we can use the extra money. Now, the problem with Wilbur and Henkel is that Wilbur and Heckel is trying to leave town as quickly as possible. Wilbur and Henkel seems like that sort of, like, one of those names that's just been abandoned in modernity. It's a name like Carol. Like, nobody's named that anymore. But pretty sure, I'm, I'm sure hipsters will bring it back pretty soon. They'd be like, um, actually, I named my daughter Dallas because, uh, I mean, it's kind of a rare name. You've probably never heard of it before, you know. I named her Phoenix Rain Jackson because I wanted her to have, like, a strange name because I have huge glasses and that makes me like strange things. So, you know, let me tip my fedora at you. I, I think I might murder you right here, sir. I think that might be how it goes down. And then I shall also loot your body and throw you in a trash dumpster or into a sewer. I don't know which is worse, being thrown into a trash dumpster or being thrown into a sewer. Either way, that guy can tell us. Well, would have been able to tell us. Let's go back and get another contract. I pick on hipsters, but honestly, I'm kind of an OG hipster when it comes to retro games and things. Like, I believe firmly that nothing is ever going to be as good as the Super Nintendo. Like, that is just a firmly held belief that, eh. For example, I also believe that an awesome game like Syndicate, it never comes out anymore. Like, games nowadays are just too polished to be as awesome as Syndicate was. Alright, let's take another contract. We got paranoid people. All these contracts seem, like, reasonably dangerous. I mean, not that dangerous, but Johnny Elwood. Look at all your double letters. Never mind, you're done for. Johnny Elwood, you are finished. Johnny Elwood sounds like he plays guitar in, like, a country band. Like a super famous country band. It's Johnny Elwood. And they've got to have a... It's Johnny Elwood and like the... Johnny Elwood and the Whiskey Time group or something. I don't know. The Whiskey Time Wanderers. That sounds pretty awesome. Whiskey Time Wanderers seems like it would work. Johnny Elwood and the Whiskey Time Wanderers. Well, you I could say you've played your last show, Johnny Elwood. There are a lot of people around right now. I shall follow Johnny Elwood from far away. I hope Johnny Elwood likes dark alleys. Johnny Elwood appears to not like dark alleys. That's unfortunate. When Johnny Elwood turns around, Johnny Elwood is probably going to see us. Johnny Elwood, we have no real time limit for killing, so it might be worth it to just kind of like stay away until maybe follow like down here. Yeah, we're doing some real assassinry right now. High profile skills sneaking around buildings. Oh no, here he comes. Okay. Oh, this is it. Prepare to die, Johnny Elwood. I pick up your corpse before you have fully bled out to hide you in a sewer. And so now I could buy a new gun if I really wanted to. I don't know if I like the shotgun better or the rifle better. The shotgun is more cost effective. So I may stick with the shotgun. Oh, the police are coming? Why are the police coming? I've done nothing wrong. Oh, I don't even know where the police are coming to, so we probably get, I'm just going to run away from my last killing. <laughs> Did he say that the police officer was just like, killing is severely frowned upon? Just severely frowned upon? Wow, that's a burnout right there. Somebody left some serious meat up on the street right there. Damn. Gotta go straight to your local Le Schwab to get that one fixed off. Let's find ourselves some more work. A bam bam bam. A bam bam bam. Mitchell Hales. Bella Greenleaf. Yeah, I think Bella Greenleaf's up on the next list. I think Bella Greenleaf is definitely looking like she's about to get zapped. Uh, let's go with the shotgun. I like it better. I do. And then I'm going to spend the rest of my money buying buckshot so that we don't have to reload for like the rest of our quest. The rest of our quest with a zest for the best in murder. On work. No, police officer! Okay, so. That was the manly sound that manly criminals make when the police are around. If you don't hang out with criminals, you wouldn't know about that, but believe me, if you hang out with criminals, we do it all the time. All the time. Take my word for it. To quote LeVar Burton. Well, don't take my word for it. Or do take my word. Oh, she's inside the safe zone. I can't get at her. 
Please don't scan me, police officer. I'm pretty sure only if the spotlights hit you does like does anything bad happen, but I need to get up into the security zone and I have contraband on me, so either way, we've just sort of got to wait it out until Ella. It looks like she's actually walking in an opposite direction, so I'm going to try and see if I can meet her down here. I really wish that there was a way around this scan zone. Ah, oh, there she is right there. Can we not hop a fence? Damn. We have contraband weaponry at the moment, so we can't really go after any of these. There's got to be a way into the safe zone. Let me go have a look. Let's see if I can find a way in here somewhere, because it'll be long-term useful for us if I can figure it out now. There's a fence over there. Scan zone right there. I mean, worst case scenario is I trigger the police over here and then run left. But... Yeah, it actually looks like I don't think there's any way in there. So I'm going to have the police come this way. Oh, the police came from... No! Okay, so he rerouted. Now we're good. So I can murder somebody up in the safe zone now without having to worry too much about it. From the looks of things, it might actually be an interesting and easy kill. There's lots of back alleys and things back here, so we might be able to make this work. Oh, tell me she didn't leave the safe zone. Or there's two safe zones. Oh, shit. More police. Run! Contraband get me in all kinds of trouble today. Is that her right there? That's Jerome Hater. He's such a hater. Yeah, she left the safe zone like after we came in here. Ugh. No! I don't know. Like, we need to make this happen. Like, right now. Pick up the body, throw it in a dumpster, murk that guy, because he's a witness. There we go. So now we should be good over on this side. We stashed all the bodies, we got rid of all the witnesses. It was a little bit expensive in terms of ammo, and it did offset our cost of doing business, but for right now, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's take another contract, and hopefully this one isn't like knee-deep inside any of the other weird areas. I'm gonna go after, let's do Vashti Jaramillo with his double L, or her double L. Oh good, it's to the south. That's actually a major plus for us right now. Grab a body. You can dump him in the river too. Oh shit. So yeah, they just saw me pick up a body. And so now I'm going to drop said body, and we're going to run for it. Because the police are not escapable in this game. The police will do terrible, terrible things to you. Alright, let's just take another contract. It'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Assassinate Alton Hasty. Okay, Alton Hasty, I'm going to need you to slow down for just a second. Just take it slow so that I can aim at you better. I bet it's this guy right here. I bet it's this guy. It's not. He's walking in the opposite direction then. Anything? There he is. Okay, so now we just got to wait for Alton to slip up. And then, when he gets hasty, we will make him pasty. We'll also kill any witnesses we have to. Because that's just how I roll. Because I'm hard like that. I'm hard like that. Witnesses. What are witnesses? Oh. Hopefully that isn't him leaving the zone. Because when they go in buildings like that, there's a chance that they'll leave the zone. Is it? Yes. New. No. Oh, shit. I tried to kill that guy, but it didn't work. Okay. Okay. Away we run. Away we run. Right this second. Can I cut through here anywhere? Oh, I can't. This is like a dead zone for me. No, I can go around this way. But it's slightly risky because it, it takes me closer to the police line. I feel like I'm killing a lot more people than normal. 
Like, I really do. Tom, I thought that said Tom the Hooker for a second. Like, why would we want to call Tom the Hooker? Now is not the time. We're running from the police. There are better times for those sorts of clandestine transactions, but this is not one of them. Juanita Dunaway. She's definitely going to be done away with, that's for sure. What's up here? Over this side, maybe? Walking down the street with a shotgun. Walking down the street. Gonna shoot you. Do not run away. Gonna shoot you either way. Either way. Ah! I guess the main point of that song is that I'm gonna shoot you. I suppose I could even title the song, I'm Gonna Shoot You. Oop, and there went a police cruiser. She's kind of in the middle of like, oh, she's paranoid. Maybe I shouldn't follow so close then. Just follow from back here. We'll get her. We'll get her. Juanita Dunaway cannot run forever. These crowded streets will not hide you, criminal. I mean, honestly, all these people could be innocent. I'm not really sure. All these people, I mean, she's carrying a gun right now. I don't know too many nice people that just, like, wander around in public with firearms being super paranoid. So, take from that what you will. We're gonna get her. We're gonna. It's weird that there's like these little areas where there's like maybe those are supposed to be. I'm not sure what those are supposed to be. It's strange that we're still wanted right now. I think that you think that they would just give up on trying to murder you after a little bit. We still have like no opening to make this happen. So. Oh, good. We're not wanted anymore. That's a plus because the police just flew over. Come on, Juanita Dunaway. I got this. I got this. I got you. I am an assassin of the highest quality. You know what? I'm just going to whack everybody. And we'll just like make it work. Time to go. We just killed a lot of people. Like that was a serious gunslinging, just murderous occasion. We killed a lot of people. That was a fiesta of slaughter. That was definitely a bit more than we probably should have done. But we made a lot of money off of it. That's the plus side. Oh, I see a witness. At least we looted all the wallets. That's the big thing. You got to get all the wallets. If you don't get the wallets, giant waste of time. What is that? What does the blue thing mean? From Chauncey Elizondo. Steal from Chauncey Elizondo. Take the package they drop when assassinated. Oh, so I'm still killing somebody. It's just kind of a slight variation. Gotcha. Gotcha. So he's a courier. There's no such thing as an. In there's nothing. I was gonna say there's no such thing as an innocent courier. But then again, there's a lot of UPS guys out there that would probably disagree with that. Wow, there are a lot of cops over there. Look at how much blood we left. Wow, we basically painted the sidewalk. I think maybe I should probably just like go somewhere else for now. What's this glowing? This thing right here looks like a glowing ice chest of deliciousness. Does it have beer in it? I could definitely use a beer right now. We've killed a lot of people. I feel like a beer would really kind of take the edge off all this paranoia. I had cousins who were twins. And we used to be like, don't let that paranoia. <laughs> get it? You get it? You get it? It's paranoia? It's... Okay. Never mind. Dad jokes equal equal false. Semicolon. I didn't forget the semicolon. I know it's there. I really can't let this guy... Arr, maybe he'll go to the... No, to the left. Damn it. Alright. Well, I could use some kind of device that will allow me to jump over fences. Let's go... Maybe maybe you can get something that lets you jump over fences. I don't know. It seems like it'd be a useful object to have, like a jetpack or something. Ammo Co. What tools can we get? There's a sky cleaner, anti-drone, EMP, a little friend, hollow lure. Oh, there is! There's a hollow lure. Okay, so maybe... A, how do I use the hollow lure? Let's break that out. How does that work? How do I how do I use the hollow lure? Hmm. How does the hollow lure function? Hold on to the control menu to find out what the controls are. Oh no, there's no control. Oh man, how do I use the hollow lure? From what I can tell, pressing Q makes me beep. 
Oh. Why was there- you psychopath. Why was there a giant shootout in the middle of the street? Oh man, I feel like I got killed. Maybe the hollow lure makes paranoid people like lose their minds and open fire. Well, at least the police show up equal. They'll investigate my murder and hopefully they will catch nobody as they have the entire time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for Metricide, our next episode. I look forward to seeing you all. If we play it anymore, I probably will though. I like this game. I like this game a lot. So I'll see you all there. Hi do everybody.